America is uh, facing obesity as a major epidemic, and uh, about 15 million Americans today uh, have class 3 obesity, which means a BMI of over 40. Um, bariatric surgery has become a standard of care for these patients when diet and exercise alone is not enough to cause weight loss. The long-term complications of bariatric surgery is not entirely clear, and as time goes on, we are seeing more and more uh, long-term complications surface. Um, our interest was to look at what is happening to the bones in a setting of patients who have undergone bariatric surgery. Now, we do know that after bariatric surgery, there is an increase in bone metabolism, there is an increase in bone turnover, and bone density declines over time. Our study mainly looked at whether these changes in bone metabolism and changes in bone turnover and a decrease in bone density, does this actually translate into clinical fractures? So our study um, looked at the fracture incidence in bariatric surgery population, and we were able to compare it to the general population matching it for age and gender. Uh, the results of our study show that patients who have had bariatric surgery uh, have a two-fold risk in developing a fracture or sustaining a fracture as compared to the normal population. The study that we have done has been limited to southeast Minnesota. And the reason why we limited that to Southeast Minnesota is because uh, we are able to use the fracture incidence data from patients who are from Southeast Minnesota and who have had uh, surgery, bariatric surgery here at Mayo Clinic. We are able to compare that with the data we have with a very unique uh, Rochester epidemiology project data that gives us population incidence uh, in Rochester and in Southeast Minnesota. So because of that unique database uh, and the ability to compare uh, whatever results we find to that database, we restricted uh, the study to patients who are from Southeast Minnesota. Right now, we have a preliminary analysis uh, of about 50% of the total uh, numbers in the cohort, and our preliminary analysis says that overall there is a two-fold increase, and um, the most of this increased risks, risk seems to be driven by hand and foot fractures. Uh, however, the data is um, not complete. It's a preliminary analysis, and so as we complete the data, we uh, we could see more fractures in other sites too, but I, as I said, at this point, the analysis is quite preliminary.